everyone, my name is Droogy Forever, and today we're playing Red Tape. This just showed up on Steam, and it's published by DreadXP, so it might be pretty good. It's been on my wish list for a little while, too. Sorry, I turned the volume down on the game just a tiny bit. It can be very disorienting. Hell, Inc. Don't worry, we're here to help. Just remember these three tips. Tip one, follow your boss's commands. Do not question authority. Tip two, be productive. Work as if your life depends on it. Tip three, help others. Hey, help me torture this guy. If it's hard, just remember. Doom. Don't be lazy, obey your masters, offer your help, maintain organization. Doom. Work well, you're in hell. Hell Inc. Virgil? Okay. Oh, the TV is broken again, flimsy old thing. Huh? Where am I? What am I doing here? All of that would have been answered in the video. Who are you? Well, let me try to fill you in. Hello, my name is Virgil, and you're in hell. What? I'm an angel. I can't be here. Technically, not anymore. What do you mean? You fell. It can't be. I was in heaven, then everything went dark, and... Well, you must have got the Game Master really pissed. Not only did you fall, but you're marked high priority. But this ain't right. I need to talk to someone. I don't belong here. Oh, you new demons always say that. When you were betraying the Game Master, you didn't think about the consequences, did you? I never betrayed him, and I'm not a demon. Well, I have no say on this. I'm only here to help you in your adaptation process. The thing is, you were an angel, you fell, and now you're a Hell Inc. employee. I think that's all the video said. This is not right. Well, keep your protest to yourself. What you need to do now is lose this angel form and be registered as a demon. I don't want to. I want to talk to your superior. And you will, but you need to do as I say first. And what is that? To start, you need to leave this room and follow the corridor until you get to the registration room. Okay, but this ain't over. I'm sure it isn't. All right, we got to go be registered as a new demon here in hell. Let's see. What the? That's me? That's what angels look like in this? Let's see, Ugarit, Imar. I don't know which one to talk to. Let's go with this guy. Hey, you must be here to get a demon name, right? I guess so. Actually, I wanted to talk to the boss of this place. You probably want to talk to the director, but you can't do that without a name, can you? I'm pretty sure I can. No, you can't, silly thing. Now be a nice demon and create a name for yourself. Remember, it must be very devilish and scary. Your name here. What is your name? How do I type? Okay. Okay, since you have a name now, you only need a physical form. You can get that with Emar. He's at the table across from me. Hell come to your new job. Hey there, you must be here to get your demonic form, right? No, I'm an angel. Not anymore, you aren't. Now you're a demon, and you must look like one. This form of yours is too abstract. My head hurts. I just need to talk to the superior here. First, get this physical form, then you can talk to him. Nice, it's so good to see you nice and registered. How do you like your new dem demon form? I hate it. I want to talk to your superior now. You can do that now. Just walk across the hall and enter the door on the right. 
You can't miss it. I'm going to fix this misunderstanding once and for all. Oh, this is just instructions on mouse wheel to switch between items. WSD to move. Explore the map and have a nice day at work. Work well, you're in hell. Red tape. It's a nice fountain. There are some coins at the bottom. Aristotle. Hi, how can I help you? Hey, I'm new here. I'm an angel. Well, that's cool, I guess. I want to know how I can get out of here. You can't. You're stuck here. We're all stuck here. You don't seem happy about it either. I'm not. I hate it here. I hate this job. I've been here for more than a thousand years. That's sad. Yeah, I got used to sadness. Okay, then, where's the director's office? It's behind you on the left. Thanks. Behind me on the left. Oh. I was going to say, that's the door I came out of. Hey there, you must be the new kid. Your name is Droogie, right? Yeah, I think so. So, what are your expectations for working in hell? None. I'm not working here. I'm an angel. Oh, I see. You're in demon denial, right? No, because I'm not a demon. I didn't deserve to fall. Look into my eyes, friend. Do you think anyone here deserved to fall? The demons of hell are hard-working. I bet they work 100 times harder than any angel you know. You think you don't deserve hell? It's hell that doesn't deserve you. But I didn't betray anyone. It doesn't matter. You're here now and there's no way to go but down. Which means that if you play by hell's rules, you might be promoted and get a better position here. But what would a better position do for me? Well, your current position is as a low-level employee. If you want to get similar or more power than you had as an angel, you must earn it. You can have a good career here, kid. You only have to work for it. And how can I do that? Well, that's what I was going to tell you. As your first task, it would be good for you to know your way around hell. Explore a little bit. Do this. Go to this sector's floors and talk to the directors. See what kind of help they need. This sector? Yeah, this floor and the next two. Not that you would be able to access the others with the permissions you have now. What do you mean? There's a magic seal in the elevator that keeps you from accessing the floors that your role doesn't have permission to go to. But for now, you won't have to think about it. Just go back and talk to Virgil and to the directors of the second and third floors. You get all that? I think so. Okie dokie. When you talk to them and help them, ask them to sign this letter of recommendation. Then bring it back to me, all right? Okay. Your future in this company will be bright, kid, believe me. Hey there, did hell already sink in? No, I'm still going to find a way to prove my place isn't here. You new demons, it's always a delight to talk to you. So what can I do to help? It seems like I need to help you and get your signature on this recommendation letter. Can I help you in any way so you can sign this? No, you've already done enough for me with your tantrum. Here it is. Thank you. You're welcome. Come visit me once you get used to the place. Abandon hope all ye who enter here. Alright, let's see. Two. What is that? I don't know. Alright. Cleopatra. I need to find the manager. Oh. Bartender. What's a demon got to do to get some alcohol around here? Sorry, kid. We ain't open yet. Check back some other time. Narcissus. I hate you so much. Just dropped dead already. Hey, are you two the managers of this floor? I'd kill you right now if I could. I'd love to see you try. They don't even notice me. Hey, I need to see the manager of this department. You must be the new kid. As you can see, the heads of this department are currently indisposed. You may answer to me for your tasks. Fine, but if I do, can you sign this letter of recommendation for me? If you do your job right, then maybe I will. What should I do then? Let's start with something simple, something even you can handle. Make me a copy of this document. It's impossible to screw this up. 
Oh, I'll screw it up. I'm 100% sure. All right, is there a copier out here? No, I don't see a copier. All right, it's probably in one of these two rooms. Let's see. No time to chat, need to make a copy, I guess. Okay. Finally, let me see. Oh my god, I was wrong. You somehow managed to screw this up. This is the worst copy I have ever seen. Nope, do it again. I can't accept this. Here, try again faster this time. I don't have all day. Wow, five-year-old can make a better copy. Just wow. You know what? Forget it. I'll have Samson do it. I'm an honorary head of department, not intern babysitter. Go see if anyone else needs anything. I don't care. Okay, not open yet. Never done any work in my life. Not going to start now. What are they going to do? Fire me? Kill me? Don't think either of these is going to work. All right. Cleopatra doesn't want me to do anything. How about you? Hmm. Nah, too basic. Not hot enough to work with me. You should know your place. Hey, big guy. Need any help? How do you think you can help me with those tiny spindly arms of yours? Bad physique. Ugly hair. Why are you even here? Just leave me alone. I'm very busy. Narcissus asked me to do a bunch of stuff for him. Don't want to disappoint. So that's pretty much everybody, I think, at this point. Oh, there we go. Cupid. Narcissus giving you a rough time, huh? How'd you know? He's been giving everyone a rough time. Ever since he got himself the role of honorary head of department. More like stole himself that role. I'm Cupid, by the way. Wait, the real Cupid? The god of passionate desire? What are you doing here? Well, Christianity is pretty popular nowadays. They're not big fans of desire and erotic love. Can't you fix this whole situation? Use your bow and arrow to make the bosses fall madly in love again? I could. Someone stole my bow, though. Probably that Cleopatra. She sat it out for me since day one. I'll see what I can do. Hair trimmer. What the fuck? Oh, I can trim Samson's hair with that, I bet. Looking for work, babe? We can get a lot of work done together. Sorry, not the kind of work I'm looking for. Oh, there's a copier here. I could have used it. Cupid's bow? Why would I want that dreadful old thing? I've had a lifetime of precious artifacts, honey. Unlimited riches. Pretty petty thievery. It's not my style, but I heard a juicy rumor that our dot has been acting quite suspicious. Isn't that the one I just talked to? I know that you stole Cupid's bow. Oh, you found me out. Are you going to arrest me? Put me in handcuffs? Slam me against the wall? Please stop. Just give it back. I really need it. Uh, I don't have it. What? But you said, come on, babe. We were just playing, weren't we? Unless you really want to cuff me up, slam me against the... Okay, yeah, that's enough. Got any leads for me? Anyone who might have stolen the bow? Uh, killjoy. I don't know. Idlu seems like he'd do something like that. Maybe he did it. I don't care. Please tell me you have Cupid's bow. Who the hell is Cupid? And who the hell are you? Sorry, but someone as great as me. Yeah, yeah, okay. Just send me to the next person. Hmm. Samson was looking a bit on edge lately. That's good enough. I'll talk to him. Samson, do you know who has Cupid's bow? I know. Okay, well, do you have any other... Wait, you know who has it? I do, but I won't tell you. Why not? It's none of your business. What are you going to do about it, little one? I already told you, I'm not. <laughs> uh, sorry. Why, why did you do this? This, this is a nightmare, oh my god. Narcissus is never going to look at me again. Oh my god, he cares so much about looks, and I'm a bald mess. You actually like that guy? I've been in love with him since I got here. I thought you'd know that already. Gossip runs wild on this floor. Yeah, I'm kind of new here. If I may ask, though, what the hell do you even see in that guy anyway? I admire his confidence. He's a man who knows what he wants. He's very smart and incredibly cultured. He's also crazy hot. He used to be kind, too, but since this whole honorary head of department thing happened, I've been making copies all day. Why does he need so many copies? 
Why is he so picky about them? It's literally just a copy. I've been doing everything for him, and he didn't even thank me, not even once. He didn't even care that I kept his secret. What secret? He stole Cupid's bow. He didn't want them to reunite the bosses. Don't tell him I told you that. I'm tired of doing favors for him. I won't keep his stupid secret anymore. Oh, it's the intern again. What did you manage to screw up this time? I know you have the bow. Give it up. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. I used to have time for ridiculous office gossip back when I was a lowly employee like you. Now I have more important things to take care of. Now scram. Go find something actually useful to do. Oh, mirror. All right. Oh, no. What do we have here? Who is this handsome devil? Oh, uh, the things I do to you. Do you have the bow? Uh, yeah. Can I have it back? Yeah, sure. Can't you see I'm busy here? Now, where were we? Oh, right. I was thinking about how beautiful you are. My bow! Oh, how I missed you. Did you break up their bickering? Not yet. It's okay. I give you permission to use the bow of passion just this once. You did help us out a whole lot. Maybe if you weren't so freaking stupid, you would... Uh, why do you look so freaking hot right now? What were we even talking about? I have absolutely no idea. Do you want to... Right here? Hell yeah. Hey, uh, sorry to interrupt. Can I get your signature on this letter of recommendation? I'm trying to get promoted. Sure, whatever. Show me this letter. There you go. Now just stay away from this office for the next six hours or so. We're going to be busy with some very important work. Also, please give this bow back to Cupid. I don't trust you running around with something like that. Did you do it? Yeah. Finally, some peace and quiet. You can now work in peace. You do know that we don't do any work around here, right? Thought you'd have picked up on this by now. I had my suspicions. Here's your bow, by the way. All right, let's see what we got on floor number three. Why do I have a feeling we're going to be picking up some of this stuff at some point? Clog? Who goes there? Hello, I'm the new employee. Don't come too close or I'll take your blood. Unfortunately, I'm a demon. I have no blood for you, sorry. Oh, okay. Do you know where this floor's chief is? Oh, the cook. He's in the kitchen. When you see him, tell him I'll never work for him again. Uh, okay. <laughs> Insert obol for refreshment. What do we got here? Sir Glum? I don't know how to pronounce that. Hello, demon. Hello, do you know where I can find the manager of this floor? You must be talking about the cook. He's in the kitchen. Thanks. Manos. Mr. Hemsworth. Coffee machine. Could go for some coffee. Not right now, though. The cook. Hey, you must be the new kid, right? Uh, Beelzebub said your name. Droogie, am I right? Listen, kid, everything has been a mess here for some time now. What is happening? You know, hell is not a very fertile land. We also can't create livestock here. But there are some demons and ghouls that must eat. How do you get food, then? So, there are some sinners that we call Prometheans, and they, well, regenerate. Oh, my. Yeah. But our current problem is the Prometheans decide to go on strike. They won't even talk to me. They used to give parts of their bodies for us to prepare food, and now, for some reason, they won't do it anymore. We just used the last limbs we had stored in the freezer. And the hungry demons will come any moment. And if they don't find their food, they'll come for us instead. And I'm sure I don't regenerate. You want me to talk to the Prometheans? Yeah, they'll not talk to me. Okay, but if I convince them to give their body parts again, you have to sign this letter of recommendation, okay? Well, I've never seen that before, but I guess it's for new employees, sure. I'll sign it. Nice, I'll talk them over. Promethean Strike. <clears throat> mm. 
mice. Too cute to eat. They're all mice and dice. Why are there dice in the freezer? Mice and dice. Mice and dice. Hey, are you Promethean? That means I'm just a pawn for the cook to get his meat, then yes I am. You seem grumpy. Yes I am, how'd you guess? I don't know, your expression and maybe your way of talking? The question was rhetorical, but yeah, I'm fed up. I mean, what's the deal with hell? I get that this is a pit of eternal suffering, but why do we have to give off parts of our bodies and get nothing back? After some eons, it gets tiring. Is that the reason you and your friends went on strike? Yeah, we were all fed up. I'm so nervous I want my coffee. I haven't drank it in years. You think a cup of coffee would make you get calmer? I don't know, but it's been so long since I last drank a cup of joe. Okay, then I think I can arrange that. Is this a cup of coffee? Give me that. Oh, it's boiling hot. You want me to get burned? Do you know how long burning the roof of my mouth would take to heal? I'm so sorry, I didn't mean that. Ugh, take it back. I like iced coffee. Oh, I didn't know that. Let me fix it. Dice. It won't give me the dice. I figured we could put the dice in here. Okay. This one says ice. There we go. Okay. Is this a cup of coffee? iced coffee for me? It's your favorite, after all. Oh, thanks. I needed that. So many years without caffeine made me too angry. You think you can go talk to the cook now? Yeah, I think so. I hope he has the decency to give me a coffee break once in a while. I also hope he does. Hello, are you by any chance one of those Prometheans the cook told me about? Indeed I am, my friend. My name is Mr. Hemsworth, and you are? I'm new here. I'm helping the cook. Why won't you help him anymore? That rascal always demanding and never giving anything in exchange. I know I am here to pay for my sins, and in life I was not the best boss, but it wouldn't hurt if he did something for us sometimes. And what did you want him to do for you? We're famished, but it is contractually forbidden for us to eat on this floor. But the contract says nothing about drinks. You want something to drink? Yes, a beverage would be very good indeed. Something carbonated perhaps would do. And if I get you some soda, will you be friends with the cook again? I don't know about my fellows, but that would be enough for me, yes. Okay then. All right, so I need some oblong or whatever the hell it said. Um, oh, this one's a Promethean too. Why are you on strike? Actually, my colleagues convinced me to enter the strike. I must admit, I don't know for sure how hell works. What do you mean? I'm a knight, and my goal was to find the Holy Grail. My place is in heaven. How did you end up down here? Well, my search for the Grail was so intense, I looked inside all the chalices I could find, and that made me acquire a taste for the spirits. The holy spirits? No, booze. In the end, I found the Grail and was granted regeneration, but I came down here anyway. Oh, I see. And how can I convince you to stop the strike? I'll only stop the strike if my friends tell me it's over. And what if I bring you something to drink? Something to drink? Yeah, I might be able to bring something to you. Hmm, I can't let this temptation stain my honor. But a little sip wouldn't do any harm. Perfect, we have a deal. Alright, so the knight wants booze. I need an oval. A vile creature, why do you come to talk to me? You're a Promethean, aren't you? I've had the gift of vampirism for a thousand years, which means my body regenerates, so yes. Nice. And why are you on strike? Blood. I give all my blood to the cook, and he never give me a single drop of the fresh stuff. I need blood to produce blood. If I bring you some blood, could you agree to at least talk to the cook? I will, but you need more than luck, as no vile creature from hell has fresh blood. I think I can find a way. All right, I think I need to go to the second floor to get booze and blood for these guys. All right, there's some blood. Can I get a drink? It's a bad look for the newly hired to be drinking this early. It's not for me, I swear. It's for Sir Gullalo and whatever. <clears throat> ah, one of my finest customers. Send him my regards. 
All right, so I've got booze and I've got blood. Do you have the liquor? Yeah, I do. All I could find was this bottle. Oh, wine. I love this. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, this is very good. So, after you're done, do you think you could go back to working with the cook? Yeah, for sure. Blood, give it to me. Here you go. Oh, wonderful blood. I love blood. Where did you find it? Apparently there are gallons of blood on another floor. What? That was blood? How could I have never noticed it? I don't know, but why does the cook need your blood if there's just fresh gallons of the stuff? You offend me, demon. My blood is much more nutritious than mere human blood. I see. Will you go back and talk to the cook? I think so. He better let me visit that blood gallon every now and then. I'm sure he will. All right, so we are still missing an obel or whatever for the soda machine, and I don't know where to get them. Oh, here we go. There we go. All right. I forgot about the coins in the fountain. Soda. Soda. Is that what I think it is? Yes, sir. Oh, that's wonderful. Give it here. Oh, this is scrumptious. So refreshing. So will you go back to working for the cook now? You can be sure I will. I hope he keeps reviving me with these delicious beverages. I also hope so, my friend. Yeah, I convinced them all. They're going to keep doing whatever they were doing before. All I had to do was give them some drinks. Oh my, Satan, that makes sense. I never asked them if they were thirsty. With these working conditions, I'm surprised they didn't strike earlier. Hey, do you want to get that form signed or not? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm going to mind my own business. You better show me that form before I change my mind. Here you go. Thanks a lot, Mr. Cook. You're welcome, kid. Come here later to eat something. Yeah, I guess I will. So I noticed that it says letter of recommendation, but that part's taped on. So I think we had them sign something else that's like not a letter of recommendation and it's going to be bad. Here, Mr. Beelzebub, all the recommendations. That's good to see. I knew you would fit right in. I don't remember the voice I did for Beelzebub. Yeah, it was easy. Okay, since you earned it, I'll promote you to suffering officer. Oh, that's very nice. It was your hard work, kid. You can now talk to Behemoth on the fourth floor. He can help you from there now on. Thanks, Mr. Beelzebub. ATM. Insert card. Coins! So many coins! Swim with the coins. What do we got here? Alright. Sisyphus. Hello, are you new here? Go talk to Behemoth. He's in that room right there. Thanks. Hey there, newbie. I heard about what you've done on the lowest floors. Impeccable job. But I'm gonna have to get straight to the point. The work is not done. I need your help. What do you need, Mr. Behemoth? I need these closure forms for the three floors of this sector. It's ordinary stuff, but I need them signed today. What do I need to do? I need to get them signed by the managers of each floor from this sector, which is this one, the fifth, and the sixth. I need them signed as soon as possible. The managers may be busy, so help them with whatever they need so they can sign this, okay? I think I can handle it. Hey, friend, I see you talk to Behemoth, right? Yeah, he told me to go over to the managers of the floors and ask them to sign these forms. I can do that, but first I have to open this vault, which is harder than I thought. Why? Because I forgot the combination. Even though I'm this floor's manager, the ones who are really in charge are the divinatory mages. Without the combination, only they can open this vault. Can't you talk to them? Those guys hate me. They don't even talk to me. I hate forgetting the combination, but it always happens. I usually remember, but this time it might be different. Sorry, friend. I won't sign that until I solve this. I could try to convince the mages. You would do that for me? That'd be great. Here, take my corporate credit card. You might need to buy something. Just try not to spend too much. 
Oh, okay. I got a hell card, Sisyphus. All right, let's start with Rasmus. <laughs> Hi, who are you? Why are you here? Sisyphus sent me here. Him? <laughs> what does he want? He wants you and your friends to open the vault. Oh, we can't right now. You know, we're busy literally divinating about how the stocks will behave in the next few days. For your information, we are the ones who hold the economic structure of hell together. I get it, but you only have to push a button. Yeah, we can't do that. Maybe in a few days. Unless... Unless what? Unless you give us something in return. Like what? We like money, if you know what I mean. What do you mean is quite literal, actually. So, yeah, give us money and we press that button for you. I'll see what I can do. Dispensing money. <laughs> Get this out of here. Why, it's money. It's dirty money. You were not thinking of giving me that, right? I actually was. Why is it dirty? This money is traceable. I can feel it comes from Sisyphus' bank account. You have to wash this money to cover the tracks. How do I do it? That's up to you. I have to wash the money? I'm going to wash this money. Ooh, clean money. Clean money. Money! Yes, give it to me. Will you press the button? Yeah, yeah, of course. Precious money. Do you have money with you? Not yet. So what are you doing here? I'm busy. Oh, shit. They're all gonna need money, huh? The ATM is off. Oh, shit. Alright, um... Do this one. Okay. They all push the button. You convinced them. I can open the vault. How'd you get the money? Did you raise it or something? Yeah, for sure. That's great. You can give me back my credit card now. There you go. Okay, let's open this vault now. Let's see what's inside. Safekeeper. Hey, stranger, you woke me up. Why is this vault empty? It just is. That's strange. Who are you? I'm the safekeeper. I've taken care of this vault since the beginning of time. You did a pretty bad job. As I said before, the vault is empty. You don't know, do you? Know what? So the truth is, hell is doomed. It always was. This vault was always empty because hell was always broke. But how did hell maintain itself for all this time? Here in hell, we thrive on suffering, not money. On earth, a vault full of money is normal. In hell, an empty vault causes suffering. So hell isn't in danger? It is! From inside these walls, I can feel a lot of vibration coming from different places. Something big is about to happen, and those in charge know it very well. What do you mean? I don't know. I'm still a little drowsy. I want to go back to sleep. Okay, I guess I'll let you sleep. Thank you. The vault is empty? I can't believe it. Yeah, it's unbelievable. You have to take this issue to the higher-ups. You're on the fast track to management. By the way, let me sign that form of yours. Thanks. What is that? Customer service? Okay. Hello, I've been sent here by Behemoth. Hello, are you the angel that just turned into a demon? I've already heard of you. Oh, what a surprise. Anyway, I've been sent by Behemoth to collect your signature on one of these forms. Hmm, a closure form? That's unusual. Ugh. What happened? You okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. I can feel a phone ringing, and that makes me furious. Ugh. But you work on the customer service floor. Isn't it normal that phones are ringing? Yes, it is. But after some budget cuts a long time ago, there's no one to answer the phones. After some time, they get under your skin. I hear nothing, though. It's because I'm a fury. We have very good hearing. My sisters are actually better than me at that. I don't know what they would do if they were in my place. Do you need help with the phones? Actually, I do, but you can't help me right now. Why is that? Because if you fall into that pit, you'll spend the rest of eternity in the depths of hell. And how can I help you then? First, you have to go to the respawn office right there and get a respawn license. Respawn? 
Yeah, and hell, all the demons that have to work in dangerous conditions have to get a license. That way, if they get killed or their body is destroyed somehow, they can be reconstructed in a safe place. This is interesting. It is, and to answer those phones, you'll need that license. Then I can sign that form of yours when I'm not hearing this unbearable sound again. I'm guessing this is the respawn office. Yep, okay. Do so. Hello, are you the respawn manager? Yes, it's me, one of Hal's oldest employees. I'm Medusa, but everyone calls me Dusa. Hey there, Dusa. So, how do I get a respawn license? It's simple, you'll only need to sign these papers. This giant mountain of paper, you mean? It's not that big, it's one of the smallest contracts. The biggest ones can be kilometers long. Okay, why is this document so big, though? You know, dying in hell is a mess, takes a lot of logistics to bring a dead demon back to life. I know it by experience. What do you mean? I only work here because during my first year in hell I kept turning a lot of people into stone by accident. The process to bring them back was insane. That's why they created this office and put me of all people in charge of it. I see, so I have to read all of this? Nah, nobody reads it, it's only the procedure. Okay, then I'm gonna sign it. I guess this is it, now you're officially able to respawn. You sure? Yes, it's all done. You can go there and die with no worries. Nice, thanks a lot. I see, you seem different. You for real? Yes, those are the effects of signing an extremely and unnecessarily extensive document that has a technically simple objective. Oh yeah, I understood everything you just said. Anyways, you can now talk to Jerry, the bony guy right there. He'll open the gates for you so you can start answering those phones. Okay, thank you. I have a respawn license. Can you let me pass? For sure, my dude. I can feel the respawn essence on you. Hey there, Hell's Customer Service. How can I help? Hello, I'm from Purgatory's Accounting Department. I'm calling to discuss Hell's debt. Debt? What are you talking about? The uh, six quadrillion gold ovals the Purgatory loaned to Hell about? 100,000 years ago or so ago. Wow, that's a huge number. Yeah, I couldn't find a working phone and I've been calling for some time now. How can we discuss it? <laughs> well, I'm really not able to answer that right now, but I can talk to my superior. That won't help. I need an immediate answer to this. It's a very serious matter. Hello? Hello? They hung up or the line was cut. A link. Hello, it's Glenn. I'm a journalist at Independent United Press. I'm calling to talk about Hell's deficit. Deficit? Yeah, the fact that Hell is barely accepting sinners anymore. And that nearly all are the dead are going to Purgatory's Medical Center or Heaven's Aleatorium. I really didn't know any of that. You can't be serious. First, Hell closes nearly all forms of communications. Then we hear insider information of deals being made with oil companies. Now the first answer call in so long is with someone that has no idea of what's happening. You can't be serious. I don't know what to say. I'm only working to help critique the customer service director. Cut the lies, kid. Hell's situation doesn't smell good, and if I were you, I'd start talking because... Hello? The line was cut again. That's odd. Hello? Hey, uh, Mr. Illigo Fry... Fly? Illigo Fly? What? The reception's very bad. I really can't hear you. I'm calling. Why? Why are you calling? I'm calling to know how our child is doing. Are they getting into much trouble? Who? The one that just fell. The feisty one. Do they remember anything about the... Hello? Oh my, the lines are being cut a lot today. I wonder if that was about me. Hello, this is an automated message from Apocalypse Toys Company. This call is to confirm the shipment of 150 billion rubber ducks to the dependencies of hell. The shipment will arrive in four to eight working days. Thank you for your trusting Apocalypse Toy Company. Why would hell buy a lot of rubber ducks, especially when it's going through a hard time like this? Hello. You know who I am. You made the best deal ever with me. Come on, don't you remember? I really don't know who you are. Hey, mister, don't play dumb. This is Jack Imp from Mega Oil. Mega Oil? Hey, this is starting to annoy me. Mr. Illigo Fly, we have a huge deal on our hands, and we have to start preparing the ground for the sale. Sale? Who's Illigo Fly? Wait, aren't you Illigo Fly? Oh my, all you demons sound the same. 
Wait, tell me about that sale. Hello? He hung up on me. I think the phones are done. Uh -huh. Oh, the silence. It's so wonderful. I think I answered all the calls. That's perfect. Have you solved all our clients' problems? So that's the strange part. Most of them were people trying to collect on loans that Hell apparently defaulted on or shipping confirmations. Uh -huh. That's not good, I think. It isn't. Maybe you could talk to Behemoth to see if he knows something. Yeah, that could be a good idea. Maybe he can figure it out. Oh, by the way, where's that form? Here it is. Can you sign it? I sure can. That's great. Thanks. Should I go to marketing or go back down to talk to Behemoth? I don't know which one I should do. Hello there, friend. What do you need today? I'm looking for the manager of this floor. Oh, you mean the managers. They're in the room next door. Thanks. The three Morai. Hello, child. We see your path has been very hard. We also see what you want from us. You want that form signed by us, right? I guess so. But your path isn't finished yet. We need your help, noble demon. We feel a huge disturbance ahead. And you are the only hope. What do you mean? You will bring back hope. Hope that there is justice, even in the most vile place, social media. That's where hope lies. Take this phone and get your fellow employees to follow hell on social media. You want me to gather followers for the company page? Yes, that's pretty much it. Gather at least 10 followers so then we can sign your form and you can continue your journey. Okay then. Hello, the Mores asked me to gather follows for the Hell Inc. social media page. Could you follow? Of course, here it is. Wow, you have a lot of followers. Yeah, people used to follow me a lot. Hey, do you want to follow the company on social media? Sorry, I can't. My sisters can't see that I have a social media account. They'll ask me why I don't follow them. Why don't you follow them? All they do is send me rants. Hey, Jerry, would you mind following Hell Inc. on social media? Sure, I love scrolling while I have nothing to do. Thanks. Hey, do so. Would you mind following Hell on social media? I wouldn't, darling. Thanks for asking. All right, we're up to three out of ten. I sure will. I love to check my social media. I get sad because of it every day, but the next day I'm there again. All right, how about this one? Would you mind following Hell on social media? If you promise not to wake me up again, I promise. And it's done. Yes, of course, my friend. All right, here we go. After that cup of coffee, I can get into the web with no worries. Three away. I'm too old for that, I'm afraid. How about the cook? Of course. Okay, so we only need two more. We're pretty close. The gall asking for my help after giving away my mirror. I'll follow, but only on the condition that you follow me back. Thanks. Cupid. Okay, Cupid followed. Couples account. Okay, so we got one extra. Aristotle followed. How about Beelzebub? I don't follow corporate accounts. Let's check Virgil. Sure. Okay, so that's three. Three extra. Okay. There we go. We got four extra. I got an achievement for it, too. Word of mouth achievement unlocked. You did it. You gathered the followers. The social media page is a success. There is hope in hell. Yeah. The strings of destiny were strengthened today. Thanks to you. And thanks to you again. They'll be even stronger. Now show us the fated document. The document is signed. Now go. Your work was great. These forms are essential for the future of the company. Speaking of, I noticed some strange things while talking to the managers of the floors. There's some irregular stuff going on. Irregular? What do you mean? Well, for starters, the accounting vault is empty. The customer service floor has no customers. There's rumors that something bad is happening to the company. Looks like something is keeping hell from making progress and higher management doesn't care. 
Whoa, 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 wait a minute, are you talking about a conspiracy? I don't want to use that word, but it all seems so strange. Hey, kid, if I were you, I'd focus on working hard, continuing to evolve, and not listening to rumors about other employees. Remember, gossip is on the second floor. Do you want to work there again? No, sir. I thought so. I can assure you hell is going to be fine. We've been on this path for eons, and we're not going to be shaken by a little recession. We can withstand a lot more. Okay, then. Okay, let's move on to the good stuff. You've been promoted. Seriously? Yeah, you're working for Baphomet now. He's on the seventh floor, waiting for you. That's good, I guess. Cheer up, kid. You deserve it. Do you have an appointment? I guess not. Mr. Malakata only sees people who have appointments. Now scram. Hey there, Drugi. How are you? How do you know my name? Well, your work precedes you. I've been hearing about you from Beelzebub and Behemoth for some time now. Wow, that's great, I guess. Yeah, you ready to do a big task for me? I think I am, but I have something to talk to you about first. Go ahead. So I've been hearing some things around the building while I was doing some errands for the directors. I'm a little worried, actually. The vaults are empty. I answered some strange calls talking about an oil sale and about hell owing a lot of money to purgatory. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've heard in a long time. It's not a joke, sir. It's serious. I tried to talk to Behemoth, but he seemed to just brush it off. Listen, I understand you're new here and you might be feeling overwhelmed, but I assure you I have everything under control. If Behemoth said to brush it off, then do it. But sir, hey, why don't you do this? Do a little errand for me, simple stuff. Then talk to Malakoto on this floor. Who's that? He's Hal's lawyer. He'll tell you everything is fine. And what's the errand? Deliver these letters to the princes of hell on the VIP floor, the last one. Oh, they seem important. What is it? It doesn't matter, okay? Don't open them. Okay. If you want to talk to Malakota sometime, just say a riddle to his secretary. If you fool the crocodile, they'll open Malakota's office and you'll be able to talk to him. Okay, then. Now go, kid. Don't stress over those dumb matters. What if I told you a riddle? Yes, a riddle. Say it. Say it now. Mm, you having problems? What is something that the more you go up, the more you also go down? Oh, that's a good one. Is it a ladder? Nope, you're wrong. You have one more try. Hmm. I don't know. Damn it. A road, a pit, an elevator? Nope, none of those. What is it then? The path of sin. Seriously? Yeah. Seriously, seriously? Yep. Now let me talk to Malakota. Okay, you won. I bet Baphomet asked you to tell me a riddle. Yep, it was him. You know, you could have just told me he sent you. It would have been enough. Hello, Mr. Malakota. Hey there, you're the recently fallen angel, am I right? Yes, I guess I am. Not too many angels fall nowadays, but let's change subjects. To what do I owe the pleasure? Well, Baphomet told me to talk to you if I was worried. Worried about what? I've been hearing some rumors around hell. Like what? More than one person I talked to said that something very bad was going to happen to hell. Some of them were clairvoyant. I see, and you're worried because you've heard some rumors. Actually, yeah, I also talked to the guys at accounting, and Hell's vaults are empty, and in customer service I heard that Hell is not accepting people in anymore. That's strange, but you don't have any concrete proof, do you? I don't. I only heard things. Yeah, we can't do much with that, can we? I guess we can't. But I can assure you, friend, Hell is in good hands. Earth has been passing through some recessions lately, and that reflects in Hell. But that's nothing to worry about. We've been through worse. Everyone tells me that, but it doesn't ease my anxiety. I know, but that's how things are. Yeah, I guess we can't see the future. Wait, maybe you can. What do you mean? You see, this used to this floor used to be a huge library once. We salvaged some books and turned them into my office, but there's one book. One book that's stuck in a room no one can access in years. Oh, you mean the room to the right of the elevator? Yeah, that one. There's a book inside it. The Book of Destiny. Everything that has happened is happening and has yet to happen is written in there. Why is the room locked? I guess an intern locked it from the inside and something happened to them. Wow. Yeah, but like I said, the room is locked and we don't have another key. But if the tales are correct, there's a portal that leads into that room. A portal? Yeah, they say somewhere in hell there's a bridge that leads to a portal. Oh, I might have seen something like that. But the bridge is guarded by a terrible beast, so you have to be careful. That's the same bridge I'm thinking of. The myths might be a little exaggerated. 
Anyway, if you can find a way into that portal and into the room, you might get the book. That'd be great. I will also be able to see what horse will win the race next week. Yeah, wait, what? I do a little horse betting on the side. Isn't it a little immoral to use a book with everything written inside to know which horse you should bet on? I'm a lawyer. There's nothing immoral to me. Okay, then I'm going to go find the book. Great. Hey, I need to cross the bridge. I unfortunately can't let you pass. But Malakota said I have to get a book that's on the other side of this bridge. Doesn't matter who told you what. My orders are to let no one pass. Why is that? I don't know. That's strange. It is, isn't it? I mean, I had a long time to think about this. About how hell has evolved and changed. When I came to work here, it wasn't a building, nor a company. But the bridge was already here, and I had to take care of it. You never knew why? I guess in the beginning I knew. There were a lot of angry sinners being tortured, and I had to make sure they didn't go to places they shouldn't. But now, hell's a company, and the demons and sinners work together. This bridge makes no sense. You know what? I would do anything to work anywhere else in this building. There must be so many cool things to see. I think I might be able to help you. You do? It would be awesome. Yeah, then you'd let me pass? I mean, I wouldn't be working on the bridge anymore, so it wouldn't be my problem. Okay, then I'm going to talk to the guys that brought me into the company, and I'll see if there's any open positions. That's perfect. I haven't even worked on these letters yet. I'm trying to get this book. I'm trying to get that book. I'm trying to get that book, book, book. That book, book, book. All right. Hey, Virgil. Uh, now I'm doing a thing for Malakota. He's cool. I'm trying to help the Minotaur. Don't know if you know him. Oh, uh, yeah. He guards a bridge on the sixth floor, right? Yeah. So I'm trying to get a new job for him. Are you? Why? He just doesn't like guarding a bridge. It lost all meaning for him. That's sad. I hate to see a fellow employee sad with their work. Yeah, me too. I came to ask you if you know any available spots anywhere in the company. I might actually know one. You see, Aristotle, he's also sad with his position, and we were planning on finally retiring him. He deserves it. So Minotaur could be Limbo's new receptionist? That's right. Take this proposition to him, and it's all done. Oh, that's strangely easy. Yeah, some things in hell are like this. I have good news for you. Do you? I'm so excited. Yeah, talk to Virgil. There's an open position for a receptionist in Limbo. Oh, that'd be great. I'd love that. So, yeah, here's the proposition for you. That's wonderful. It says I can start working there today. Great. So, will you let me pass now? For sure. All right. Where's the intern that supposedly got killed in here? Oh. Larry! Oh, no. Poor guy died in here. Oh. Never mind. He's sleeping. Book of Destiny. Let's see. What'd you see? War. War? What do you mean? The horse. War. I knew I should have bet on war. He's recovering from an injury, but is indeed a great horse. Focus, Malakota. What about hell? Oh, yeah. There's that. Let me see here. Okay, I see. What? What? Hell's being sold. What do you mean? It's too late. Hell's in the process of being sold to an oil company. It's already in the final stages of negotiation. What do we do? You have to find a way to talk to the devil as soon as you can. Oh, where can I do that? He's in the last floor, the ninth, but Cer Cer Cerberus is guarding the elevator. You must have permission to go in there. Permission from who? From Baphomet, I think. So I must do this letter thing he asked me to do. Yeah, do what you have to do and go talk to the devil. He has to know about this. And here, take the book back. Why? Because it's telling me that you must have the book. Wow. And you must also have this weird broken picture thing I found and for some reason kept with me until now. That's specific. That's it. Now go. Oh, my dear. Oh, my dear. Why are you so worried? Can't you see? There's a bomb on the table. Wow. Why is it there? I don't know. I'm just an intern. I went to the second floor to make copies and when I came back, it was here. That's serious. Oh my, if I don't do something about it, I will totally get fired. Or you might die, after all, it's a bomb. Oh, that doesn't worry me. Anyway, can you help me? I guess. Do you have any clue who planted the bomb here? I don't know. It was one of them, the planners. That doesn't help me. I really don't know. They're capable of anything. They've been at war for ages. Why? Planning! Each one of them thinks that their plan is more effective than the others. They've become so obsessed they started a war. 
Wow, that's a bit radical. It doesn't matter if this bomb shows up in my report, I can say goodbye to this job. I'll talk to them and try to see which one put the bomb. Thanks a lot, friend. Hey there. What's up, who are you? I'm here because David's worried about that bomb. That guy? He can die worried if we want. Why? He's a clown, always trying to make peace. How will we make peace if I'm working with those dumb guys? The other planners? Yeah, those guys want to live in the Stone Age. That's their problem. But they want to drag the company with them. Now it's personal. Stone Age? Yeah, they hate the idea of using computers to do all the planning. It's so simple and intuitive. You only have to sit down and press some buttons on the keyboard. Seems easy. It is, but guys like that clown Debbie want to do everything manually. I wouldn't be surprised if she had something to do with that bomb you mentioned. Why is that? It seems like her style. She loves to seem mean and dangerous, but is a coward. What do you mean? That lady is afraid of any kind of threat. If you threatened her, maybe she would let something out about the bomb. Would she? She sure would. If you do it with a weapon, she'll be very scared. Noted. What is that? Knife. There we go. Hey there. Hi, what do you want? I want to know about that bomb. Do you know something about it? I might know. Will you do something about it? I just want to disarm it so this floor doesn't blow up. If it blew, at least the other guys would learn a lesson. What do you mean? They have wrong ideas about what planning means. And what do you think planning means? I think only the ones capable of doing it, which is us, must do it. You don't see me meddling with matters of other floors, do you? I guess not. Exactly, but the other guys don't see it. And Joey, he's the dumbest of them all. He and that Sparrow David, the intern. Actually, I think I heard Joey saying something about a bomb. Have you? Yeah, that crow has something to do with that for sure. How can I make him confess? Well, I see he and a lot, his friends steal a lot of coins and shiny stuff. I'm sure he likes those types of things. Shiny things? Yeah. I'll try to find something. That guy will get hypnotized. Okay, let's see. Sorry, I've just, I've read so much. I'm having a hard time feeling like I, I need to read this. Um, thinks HR might have something to do with the bomb. So, break the computer. Gun in the trash? Oh, there it is. Hey, you destroyed my computer. So you would tell me about the bomb. You didn't need to use the violence. I only helped with the number pad on the bomb. I think the first digit of the code was one or something. Cool, thanks. Only one of the numbers. Said you might have something to do with it. He likes shiny stuff. Okay. The second digit is two. Okay. Three. One, two, three. They hate you more than they hate each other. Combinations one, two, three. Uh, let's see. I don't know what to do now here. They wouldn't take the letters. Um, I'm still an angel, so they won't let me pass. Ah, my goal is noble, so they can't let me pass. I have to be a traitor. He's been trying to pass for years and hasn't been able to succeed. 
my loved one's in heaven at the Eleatorium. There's only one way to get there, going through the Devil's Den. But this floor knows if you're a true traitor, and none of us are. Therefore, we won't pass. Amulet with the face of the loved one. Dropping it broken to and disappeared into the sands of hell. So I have... Oh, there it is. Okay. It's not my intention to make you suffer. Oh, good. I caused the suffering, so now I can go through. The floor has to think you've betrayed me. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to see you suffer. You're a true traitor and a wicked demon. Thank you, Lord Dante. I have a letter from Baphomet. What is close? None of your concern. Letter from Baphomet. Need coins. They have the rubber ducks. We, we saw a thing that said they were delivering a bunch of rubber ducks. Ball. I'll know soon enough. You did a great job. I can easily see you making it to the board of directors one day. It's sad that I never will. Why do you say that? Because hell is being sold to a company called Mega Oil. What? How do you know that company? I put the pieces together. Kid, you're making serious accusations right now. That could get you fired or worse. I don't care. I demand to go talk to Lucifer right now. What? You demand what? I want to talk to Lucifer. I want access to the elevator that goes to the Devil's Den, and I know you can give me access. So you can do what? Unsell hell? So I can do something about it. What exactly do you think Lucifer will do? He's the king of hell. That doesn't mean anything. You know, hell was once great. Our names evoked fear in the mortals. Our pits were home to suffering and screams. Now we are a shadow of what we once were, corporate puppies. We discussed how we would take over heaven and how we would torture the damned. Now we only gossip at the water fountain and make photocopies. And Lucifer is part of that decline. He hid in his pit a long time ago and never came out. He can't do anything anymore. The deal is closed. You're part of this? Everyone that had any sense of preservation is. Hell is doomed. We're just helping it have a nobler end. Who else is on this? All the directors. We all decided to close the deal behind the devil's back. But what about all the employees? Do you think I give a damn about the damn employees? They're already in hell. What could be worse? You're a monster. No, I'm a demon. At least I know what I am. What about you, little angel? Go talk to Lucifer and see what he has to say to you. He's probably in his den crying again. This won't go well for you, for any of you. You have too much faith. Maybe it really was a mistake you fell. You have permission. I can smell it. You must be really dumb or really important. Well, hey there. Are you Lucifer the devil? I sure am in the flesh. Why the surprise? I thought you would be more menacing. Well, thousands and thousands of years of fire and brimstones don't do any good for the skin. I see. Well, Mr. Lucifer, I come here to warn you. Warn me about what? Did my tea run out? No, worse than that. Hell's in danger. What do you mean? Spit it out. The directors are planning to sell hell. Oh, I see. What do you mean, I see? Did you know about this? Actually, no, but I can't do nothing about it. How? You're the devil. You own this company. I do, but I haven't controlled it for a long time now. So you're willing to let hell be wasted by some oil company just because you're afraid? What can I do about it? I'm old now. I don't think that I am the same ravenous devil from erstwhile. But you're the boss of hell. If you can't do it, then who can? I don't know, young one. Well, why? Why did you give up on hell? 
I love hell, but when you try to organize a place made out of chaos, there's only so much you can do. I ended up seeing my dream project slowly getting corrupted, and I couldn't watch that anymore. So I hid in my den, and I've been here since then. It's not much, but it's something. I think I understand, but I won't give up on hell. I love to see your stubbornness, but who are you? I'm an angel. Actually, I fell, but even though I want to save hell, I know my place is not here. A recently fallen angel. I may have an idea. What? I think you might be able to get more attention to this matter if you talk to the Game Master. The Game Master? But how will I do that? Don't underestimate me, kid. I have a path that goes directly into heaven. But how? You aren't the only fallen angel, kid. Just keep in mind that heaven and hell are more connected than it seems. Now go, enter that door, and you'll make it to heaven in no time. Thank you, Mr. Lucifer. You're definitely not as bad as they paint you. I guess that time has made me soft. I'm sure so something's going on here. They're like tricking me or something. So our angel or demon friend ventures once again into the Aleatorium or heaven, if you wish. The angel runs through the well-known slot machines and poker tables looking for the game master's chambers. When the angel finds the doors, they're being guarded by Metatron. What are you doing here? He says, you shouldn't be here. You're a demon now. You're right, but I have to talk to the Game Master, the former angel says. Hell's in danger. In danger? <laughs> Metatron laughs. Do you think the Game Master is going to fall for that? It's true, the angel insists. It's all written in this book. When Metatron sees the Book of Destiny, his tone immediately changes. How did you get that? Metatron asks, shocked. You know what? Give me this. Metatron grabs the book and runs away, leaving the door unprotected. Our angel friend enters the Game Master's chambers. Hello, child, says the Game Master. Hello, Master, says the angel, bowing in respect. You don't need to do that since you don't answer to me anymore. Why do you venture here, the Game Master says. Then the angel tells it all, how Hell's bosses are betraying the devil and plotting to sell it. The Game Master listens to it all in silence. You need to help Hell, the angel exclaims when finishing the story. I can do that, the Game Master says, but first, there must be a trial. The trial is held in limbo. The Game Master stands as judge, Metatron as the scribe, and Hell's bosses are the defendants. Malakota is not allowed to be in the courtroom, but he promises the angel he'll help by providing evidence. The angel must convince the Game Master that Hell is innocent and the bosses are the culprits. Oh god. Shit. Damn it. There's some evidence. Jump. Okay. Oh, he's down here. Shit. I thought he was up there. Shit, I missed it. Damn it. Shit. I don't know what to do about this. Thanks. Get up here.
Thank God. Redemption. That was a pain in the ass. The angel did it. Hell was saved. The trial brought up a lot of evidence against the directors. They were proven guilty by the angel and arrested for their crimes of conspiracy and corruption. But in a turn of events, a new participant in the plot to sell hell was discovered. Metatron, the angel who was responsible for guarding all of heaven's knowledge and the game master's chambers. Turns out he used that knowledge to make a deal with the demons to have a stake in hell's sale. Our hero, the angel, was actually a victim. Metatron made the angel fall after eavesdropping on a conversation between him and Baphomet. The angel lost their memory in the fall. It was supposed to be a perfect plan, but the angel's determination won in the end. After the trial, Lucifer started leaving his den more and more. The employees at hell needed a leading figure after the three bosses were arrested. And our hero got to prove their value and become an angel once again. But the angel who is now an angel officially, gets permission to visit their friends in hell whenever they want. Heaven and hell are at peace once and for all, or at least until the next apocalyptic event. So, that is Red Tape. It's an interesting... Interesting game. I enjoyed it, though. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the series. If you did, tell that like button you want to smash. And don't forget to subscribe. You stay you. I'll stay me. Droogy forever. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video. Later.